the best free plugins for 2024. Okay, so first up, we have State Machines Bitflip. This plugin is made by this company called Cradle. This year, I just discovered a bunch of their plugins and they're absolutely insane. Like some of my favorite plugins ever. Come on, dude, this sounds great. The interface looks super cool. This is a dope plugin. Let's make something with it. Okay, 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 okay. I think we got it. I think we got the part. Oh, dude, <laughs> it's over. First plugin, it's already over. Okay, one next. Okay, next up we have Keybase. Now this is a recreation of a vintage 60 monophonic bass synth called the Ream Keybase. I genuinely didn't know this synth existed until I tried this free one, but it sounds incredible. It's really simple. We have an on-off switch. We have a DK slow and fast mode fuzz tone mellow and bright and then we have this bass booster slider thing that is just the best part <laughs> okay let's see if we can figure out a part for our melody Oh, dude, you know what we need. We definitely need drums. So I think this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to keep the intro like this with some live drums. We're probably going to put a bunch of effects on them. And then we're going to keep the same melody probably on a different instrument. I can hear it all in my head. Just give me a second so I can show you. <laughs> it's all in here. <laughs> okay, intro. By the way, YouTube is telling me that 73.8% of you guys are not subscribed to the channel. Honestly, one of my biggest goals for 2024 is to make it to half a million subscribers. I think we can do it. We're not that far. So if you enjoy the videos and you want to see more, make sure to subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate it. Okay, next up we have Game Boy by NN Audio. The true lo-fi experience, inspired by the iconic Game Boy and Nintendo 64. This is all it is. It's basically a synth that's shaped like an old Game Boy and uh, it makes a bunch of cool Game Boy inspired sounds. It's very simple. You have presets, you have an EQ, you have sampler one and two, which is actually the sounds that are playing. And then here on the D-pad, you have a few effects like Big Crush, Dimension, Reverb, and Delay. Ooh, okay, drums, 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 drums. Okay, 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 we need an 808. Thump One by Toybox. Now, this is technically a kick plugin. That's how they talk about it, but really it's so much more. I mean, even if you go into the presets, you can see they have bass, they have effects, they have kicks, but they also have leads, even percussions. Okay, for example, it can sound like this, but it can also sound like this, or maybe like this. Yeah, this is not just a kick plugin. <laughs> The cool thing about it is that every parameter is controlled by one of these envelopes. So you can draw them, you can change them up. It's very intuitive and super versatile. Oh, that's actually pretty good. Right here. I wanted to add a little roll right here. Just a little roll. Yes. Okay, we need a different sound for the melody right here. 
Final Guitar 2 by Echo Soundworks. This is just a dope guitar plugin. I mean, you have so many sounds to pick from. It's all guitars. You can adjust the transients, the string buzz, the guitar noises, a few other parameters like width, exciter, and tone. And then you also have layers and effects. So you have some deep control over these sounds, but honestly, the way I use it is just the presets because the presets are great. I think in one of my old plugin videos, I talk about Vinyl Guitar 1, but this is just a new and improved. It's still free. It's awesome. <laughs> Um, I want like a bigger sound, maybe the 12 string. Ooh, that's nice. Dude, this guitar is nice. It's so soft and sweet. Okay, that guitar sounds kind of cool, but I feel like it's missing something. It just needs a little more personality. Okay, Memory by Cymatics. So the way they describe the plugin is uncover the hidden nostalgia behind any audio signal. Basically, it's a chorus plugin. You have your depth, you have your rate, you have a filter right here, and then you can add a little bit of noise. That's kind of it. It's very basic, but as always with Cymatics, it sounds really good, and the interface is super clean, it looks cool, it's easy to use, and I think what makes it really unique is the presets. They clearly put some love into them, and if you want something quick to just switch up your melody, make it sound just more interesting, this helps a lot. Oh my god, yes. That is a hundred million times better. Okay, let's hear with the drums. Let's go! Okay, I have an idea for my intro where I think I want to add some vocals with a bunch of harmonies. I'm not going to use a free plugin for this one, so it's a little bit cheating, but it's going to sound so good that you're not even going to be mad. Okay, this is a cool technique I like to use with harmonies with nectar. So the first thing we need is chords, like MIDI chords. Okay, now that we have our chords, we're going to go into Nectar. We are going to load up a voices module and right here we're going to click MIDI. Now we can send our MIDI into Nectar and it's basically going to harmonize my voice following those chords. It's super cool. Ooh, ooh, ooh. There it is. Now we're just going to find the right note. Here we go. God, dude, <laughs> that made it like a hundred times better. Inner Pitch by Auburn Audio. This is another incredible utility plugin. Very, very simple, but it sounds really good. A lot of these pitching plugins, especially the free ones, they tend to just destroy your sound and it just sounds terrible. This one does it. This one sounds cool. So let's say you have a melody. You can go down in pitch pretty much as much as you want. It's gonna keep it pretty clean. It has a format knob, which is very useful and a few other controls, but really the pitching algorithm, it's where it shines. Okay, I'm gonna take inner pitch. I'm gonna put it on my vocals. Not too much, just a little bit. Turn down the formant. How is it an octave lower? It might be too much. Yeah, it's a little much. Let's keep it normal. By the way, inner pitch is really cool on the master sometimes. Like you get some unexpected effects. Like if you just drop that on the master and pitch everything down, sometimes it sounds really cool. Ooh. Oh, that sounds really cool. Now I don't know if I should just keep it on the master the whole time. Next up, we have Vaults by the Crow Hill Company. So this is one of those plugins like Spitfire Labs where they're gonna keep adding sounds according to their website. Right now, they have three sounds. They have a piano. They have strings. And they have a Celesta. Yeah, really cool plugin. It has some basic sounds right now, but install it and then eventually you're gonna get more and more sounds for free. Did I mention everything's free? <laughs> 
<laughs> I think I just want to get those vocal cords. I just want to bring him to the strings. I think it's going to be perfect. Perfect.